I couldn't find any videos on how to do this on YouTube, so I made my own. I went out to switch my drain fields like you're supposed to do every year, but I don't. And it stuck. It cracked and water started percolating up into this riser. Well, that's something we should have to remedy, isn't it? This is one of those jobs where you can risk breaking the pipe with a backhoe, or you can risk breaking your back with a shovel. I said, screw it, I'll use a shovel. I didn't use a garden trail for the whole thing, but down here, I didn't want to crack the pipes either, and it's hard to dig in that gravel, so... You can see the water's backed up, and uh, when I took the riser off, water just kept bubbling out. And you can see in the center of that valve how it's broken. The valve top broke probably because it got exposed to UV rays because there wasn't a cap on the end. But anyways, the, the pipe comes from the septic tank to the valve, and then you're supposed to switch it every year to either drain field one or two. If you leave it on the same one, it builds up a mat of bacteria, and it'll plug it up. So they put that valve in there so you can alternate them and you don't have to dig up your doggone drain field every couple of years and put a new one in. And this is the valve that broke. The top part of it just started cracking, I guess, in one year when I tried to do it. Uh, it just broke. You'd think this smells like poo, but it doesn't. It smells like, I don't know, swamp water. What's up, buddy? What's up, Chip? You all ready to get out and get back to work? You ready to go outside? All right, let's go. So here I'm trying to remove the top of the old valve. This, this stuff, if, if that smells like poo, there's something wrong with your septic system because by the time this water gets through here, there shouldn't be any solids or particulate. All that stuff should be back in the first tank of your septic system. All this stuff comes from the second part of your septic system. And while it don't smell exactly like roses, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's not horrible. I'm not gagging here. The way these bull run valves are made, there's a cap, top cap, and then underneath that there's the uh, the okay. actual switch itself, which fits kind of into a little keyhole on top of the valve. Uh -oh. uh, and then there's an O-ring in there as well. This is before I get the repair kit, so I don't really know how this goes together. And try not to break anything, so... I'm Trying to take it easy and just kind of feel my way around the valve. So here I've removed uh, the first two pieces and the O-ring. The only thing that's left is the valve that sits down inside the valve body. The top of the valve. Now the valve's going to come out. Oh, yes. Look at that. You can see that as soon as I removed that valve, all this water started gushing down into the right side of the drain field. That's because the left side of drain field's been in use for, I'd like to say, a couple of years, but honestly, it may be as many as five years. I don't know. And it's built up a biomat and clogged up. That's why you're supposed to switch them every year. So now all that excess water is going into the right drain field, which should be fine. That's the old valve with a bunch of dirt in it from when I took the riser out. So I'm going to get this all cleaned up and we'll get that repair kit in there. I found the repair kit on a site called uh, Drainage Solutions. I think their website is drainageproducts.us. There's a they actually have a couple of websites, but they all link to each other, and they're they're legitimate. 
Uh, you may be asking, why didn't you order this before you dug the hole? Well, I didn't know what I needed. I, I was At first, I thought I was going to have to dig out the entire valve and cut it out and put in these rubber adapters and all this stuff, which is kind of a big job. And I've never done any of this stuff before. So I was pretty doggone glad to find this repair kit. There it is. I didn't find it anywhere else online, and I looked. I couldn't find it on Amazon, etc. So it was 32 bucks, but the shipping was ridiculous, 16 bucks. Oh, well. It got here in about four days, so uh, I was pretty happy. The kit showed up with the top cap, the valve, and then the, the switch itself, plus six stainless steel screws. I'll be honest with you, I reused the six screws that I took out because I knew for a fact they were stainless because they lasted for, well, oh my gosh, since 95. This is how the switch fits onto the valve. And then, the, of course, the top cap goes over everything. The valve actually comes with a coating of white lithium grease on it, but I put extra on there because you can see how hard it was to get the old one out. Chip. Hey. Move. Move. Come on, let's go outside. <laughs> Hang in there, old man. hard to see how this fit together don't worry about it it all only fits together one way so you just kind of line it up and you'll see how it works once you get your hands on it pretty careful not to torque these these screws down too much I mean if water starts bubbling out the top you got bigger issues than how tight you tighten them and this uh, this switch isn't really supposed to be turned by hand there's a metal key that you can buy in various lengths that kind of goes down your riser I'm gonna make one I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pay for it time to fill the hole back up Yeehaw. Here's the old key that somebody had made for this thing. It's, it's just rusted to nothing. Maybe it's been more than five years.